For the past, past couple of weeks, police from San Antonio have been trying to capitalize the, on the Dallas Pension Fund crisis by luring some of the officers here away to San Antonio, or trying to anyway. First, electronic billboards appeared in our area offering cash bonuses. Now the department has recruiters in town to pitch and test potential officer candidates. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is in Dallas with the other incentives, getting the attention of some DPD officers. Alex. Indeed, Steve. Well, I can tell you the president of the Dallas Police Association was at that initial informational session held yesterday. He tells me that about a dozen DPD officers showed up to that event. The president believes between 20 to 30 DPD officers will ultimately leave here and join the San Antonio Police Department, all recruited from just this two day event. And the reason we're here is because we are a progressive police department and we want to continue to be the best. But in order to be the best, we have to have the best. And that is you. Recruiters with the San Antonio Police Department making a sales pitch to Dallas police officers weary of their professional future. I mean, is there a real push to try to capitalize on what's going on in Dallas and attract officers? Uh, that is something that uh, out of respect for my brothers in blue here in Dallas, the Dallas Police Department, it's not anything other than uh, simply stating some of the facts. That includes a healthy pension fund and $7,500 signing bonus perks SAPD has made very public on giant billboards posted throughout Dallas. It's an offer Dallas Police Association President Mike Mata says some DPD officers can't afford to pass up. The problem here is, is not only are you losing the younger officer who can go to a different department and make equal or better pay, you're losing the five to seven year officer. That's the one that really hurts because that's the officer that is now probably your most uh, young, energetic, productive officer. Spaith Communications Director Sally Ann Moyer says DPD is missing out on the chance to retain and even recruit officers by not using social media to its fullest potential. Here's the individual officers and their stories, people that are just now in the academy, people that just graduated, people that have been here for 20 years and why they're still here and why they plan to be here for the next 20. But unless city leaders increase pay and find a way to fix the pension, Mata believes more DPD officers will continue to flee to cities like San Antonio with something better to offer. I, mean, I just wanted to let them know that there was no hard feelings, that I understand why they're doing it. And the city of San Antonio is also offering a, a police officers as well as firefighters a credit for several thousand dollars if they purchase a home within the city limits. I can tell you that recruiters tell me they intend to make another trip back here to Dallas before that uh, training uh, for the academy starts in San Antonio in July. Back to you. All right, Alex Boyer, downtown Dallas. Thanks.